NFL is back in LA. Now, Kevin, you were front and center during this filing and submission for the Rams to relocate back to LA. When you hear 30 to two vote, the NFL owners, what was that experience like for you? Can you describe it? I think it's surreal when you think about the NFL going out of this market 21 years without a team and being part of a group to execute Stan Kroenke's vision to transform Hollywood Park, to build a great NFL stadium and entertainment district in Inglewood and to bring the Rams back home. It was just a fantastic experience and, and one that we hope, when you look at all the events from tonight that have been celebrated, achievements on the field, this is one off the field, hopefully soon we'll be talking about on the field again. Well, the city was electric and the fans were buzzing, especially early in the preseason and in the regular season early on before some struggles on the field. But what was the most surprising part about that transition? I didn't think the most surprising part was how quickly Los Angeles proved why it's a great NFL market. And when you see the number of people who came out, 90,000 people for a preseason game against the Cowboys, 92,000 against the Seahawks, and just the way that the NFL captivated the city and welcomed us back and, and now again welcoming the Chargers to Los Angeles. This is a terrific NFL market and I don't think it's surprising any of us who grew up here who saw the passion for the NFL in this market but I think it proved to the rest of the nation you know, why this project meant so much to the NFL and why I think the two teams will be very successful. Now you've spent a lot of your time with the Rams dedicated to community service. How has that trend continued in Southern California? I think it's one of the things we take great pride in as an organization, and we jumped right back into the market. Uh, we were able to build a play playground at uh, Inglewood School District, a uh, Woodworth Elementary School, a school K-5 through that didn't have a playground uh, before. We've hosted Play 60 for over 800 kids in Inglewood. We were able to go into the LAUSD with United Way uh, and do a Character Plus education program. We just had a day of service today where we close our offices and go out and perform a community service project. Uh, throughout the LA Unified School District in March. And we have been throughout this city trying to touch everybody. And I think for us, the most impactful thing is there are so many ways you can experience the NFL when there's not a team here. You can watch on Fox, you can watch on CBS, you can watch on Sunday Ticket, you can play fantasy football. But for the youngsters, where you realize the difference comes is when they can see players up close and when they can go through drills and when they can meet them at their school and they can see them in a community event, the difference of role models and athletes. And I think when you see, when you heard Dave Roberts talk about it, you see someone like Allison Felix, you see you know, the great people who are honored here today. It's all about being role models and inspiring that next generation. I look at what LA84 has been able to do you know, in the Olympic movement, what Renata does. That's what our goal is. Our goal is to make sure that people come out, feel inspired to play football, to play another sport, and to give them role models to cherish. Absolutely. And we talked a little bit about the on-field stuff, but I can't let you go before asking you about this offseason that has been filled with headlines and you hire the youngest coach in NFL history and Sean McVay and almost an entirely new coaching staff and you have a defensive coordinator and Wade Phillips who won a Super Bowl a couple years ago promising young quarterback what are your expectations for 2017? Well to me we celebrated 2016 which I think for us went from January through October <laughs> and then and then stopped in 2017 starts. We're just blocking the rest We're just going to block the rest out. <laughs> uh, but fantastic addition in Coach McVay just brings so much energy and passion to this market and, and what he was able to do in Washington to transform their offense to make them relevant again. We think we really jumpstart our offense, getting Coach Phillips to come run the defense and be able to keep Coach Fossil as our special teams coordinator was fantastic. We're really excited about the coaching staff uh, that we built. And, and I heard, you know, Coach Roberts, they said, you know, did you expect to be up here winning coach of the year? Maybe Coach McVay can be up here. You know, they already claimed the moment of the year with the Dodgers World Series title, so we'll let them have that one. But we would love to have Coach McVay up here next year to accept coach of the year. But really a bright, young coaching mind and someone we think will be a face of this community for a long time to come. And guys, he never stops working. He is headed to the Combine tomorrow, but tonight stopped in to celebrate the number one moment of 2016. Let me congratulate you, Kevin. And the Rams moved to Los Angeles, and we're looking for even better things in 2017. Absolutely.